Hi friends, Miss Ella here. Today I'm going to show you how to start your seeds indoors using soil pods and seed starting mix. I hope that you guys find this tutorial helpful. Okay, let's get to work and thanks for stopping by guys. First you want to add warm water to your soil pods so that they will expand. While we're waiting for the soil pods to ex uh, expand, we're going to go ahead and pre-moisten our potting mix or seed starting mix. It's a great consistency. Our potting soil is moist and when you squeeze it, there's no water dripping out of it. So it's like a wrung up paper towel. And our soil pods are ready as well. I'm going to go ahead and place my seeds in there. I'm putting about three seeds in each soil pod. On this row, I am planting some basil. Carefully cover them up. I'm using uh, an old chopstick. You can use the tip of the pencil. So generally, you want to bury your, bury your seeds about three times the thickness. So for instance, these basil seeds are very tiny as well as the scarlet kale that I, I'll be planting. So you only need about an eighth of an inch of soil on top of your seed. Time to plant some more seeds using the seed starter mix. I'm just using or reusing yogurt cups. I like to reuse food containers and I just went ahead and um, grabbed a nail and punctured three holes in the bottom, but be very careful when you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop my soil here. I'm going to be sowing some more scarlet kale. My kids love kale chips, so they ask if we can grow um, a lot more <laughs> this year in our garden. And again, I'm putting three seeds at least in each cup. Take some soil and cover them lightly. Now we're going to lightly spray the top of the soil. You want to keep them moist so they will germinate. It's not necessary to place them under a light until they germinate. So once you see the little seedlings trying to emerge from the soil, then it's time to put them under a light. Make sure you always label what you're planting. It's been three days since we sowed the seeds and it looks like a couple of the scarlet kale had already germinated. So I went ahead and placed the tray under our fluorescent lights and I'll be getting into more details about our growing lights in the next video. Also wanted to show you the seeds that we sowed about a week and a half ago. These are some kale varieties as well as collard greens and it looks like a few of them are starting to get their first set of true leaves. I'll be transplanting these soon so stay tuned for that video.